I'm currently the librarian at Coastline College, and Coastline does not have a physical library. And before I became the librarian at Coastline, which I love, I was a librarian at another community college, and my job title there was Distance Learning Librarian. This was a library that had a physical building, a very robust campus, and I remember when I first got hired, someone saying to me like, oh yes, we have this amount of students who are online students and we need you to be the librarian for them. And I looked at that person and I said, every student is an online student. The minute they leave campus or even if they access the library from on campus, they're accessing us from online. We need to really think about how we're designing the library for students who are not just walking through our doors. And what it comes down to is that a lot of us think in this box that the library is only a physical building. And the library at one point was a physical building only, but now it's so much more than that. And so as students access the library, we have to think about the different doors that the library has for them to get our content. So the first door is obviously for most of you, a physical library. And when that happens, you think about how you design your collection, how you have your different resources for students in a physical space. And when that is done, you gotta think about how they access it a different way. So a lot of us access, our students will access our content through our library webpage. And our library webpage has now sometimes become a collection of way too many things. So as I came into uh, my college, luckily I had a great librarian that I came after, but we were in the middle of updating a web page. So I got to have the opportunity to really curate what we had in our library at the time. And by doing that, I was able to see what do students really need? What can I take out? What can I not take out? And these are things to consider when you think about an online library. Is the stuff that we put on our library webpage, is it clear for students? Are we using language that students maybe don't understand? Are we using a little bit of library lingo? If it's two o'clock in the morning and a student needs help, have we put the resources there that they're gonna need that could possibly help them? Have we organized things in a way that makes sense to students? So I know that all of us have, and me included, as much as I try to curate my website, um, we all try to think about what do students need. So when you're thinking about an online library, the first thing to think about is how do I make my website the door that they come in that makes sense to them? And that's really, really important. So another thing to consider are all the other doors you might have. Do you have a library presence in Canvas? Are there links in other places in the website for your college? All of these are opportunities to really curate how students can access the library and the content they have. In my case, I started with our webpage and I updated that and then we made it really simple and I loved it. And we then one day got a new marketing manager and they've changed that, but I'm still working on it. But from there, I went to Canvas. And instead of trying to put the library everywhere in Canvas, um, we do have a link to the library in the main navigation menu, but I created a whole library workshop that students come into. And in that case, they're able to self-enroll and I as a librarian am able to control the content that they get. I'm able to do announcements, like right now we're sending out announcements about some things that are really relevant, maybe about unemployment, um, just kind of as additional things, but then to have the resources students need there. So when you think about your doors for your website or for Canvas, these are really, really important things to think about. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is gonna be outreach and awareness. 